Good morning, Eduardo. How are you? I'm good. Good morning, Rachel. It's good to be here again. Yes. And I'm excited to see, you know, to share some of our hints and tips in our wise tips. Yes, me too. Well, I'll go ahead and start us off. Um, so the first one I've got for us today is actually task reports. Um, so this is something that I really enjoy using, especially um, when I can get away with, you know, the less things I have to schedule, the better, because heaven knows we've all got enough to do without having to add in 50,000 reminders that you really don't need to. Um, so one of the things I really like using the task reports for is barrier lists. Um, it's, I think, one of the most common things it gets used for, um, and it works really well. Um, so the way that the task report works is instead of you searching for future reminders and doing your scheduling based off of that, this actually does a scheduling based off of procedure you've already entered in the computer. Um, so when you charge, when the farrier comes and does 30 horses, you can charge for the farrier charge for that date. And you can actually, through these task reports, tell the system, I want you to tell me which of these tasks hasn't been done in the last X amount of time. So for instance, my farrier report, I think is for um, weekly, seven weeks, and it searches for the task farrier trim. You can also include other tasks in it as well. I just have the one. So it's gonna pull up a report and tell me which horses do not have a farrier trim charge in the last seven weeks. So of course you can so basically, edit that. basically it's gonna be a combination of procedures that are already in the system, mm -hmm. how often you want yes. certain tasks to run, and then it's gonna cross those two information and provide a report. Yeah, yes. I like that and, too. So it's and it really, of course can be for a number of things. It's limited, it depends on the creativity of those users yes, in the system. Yeah, exactly. You could search it, you could use it for um, searching for what horse have Coggins done or which horses or dogs need vaccines. Um, it's a very versatile tool. And it's really, once you set it up, it's as simple as hitting the show patient by task report. And it's just going to take a moment and pull up your list of all the horses that meet that criteria. Um, and you can, what I really like is a select date button here at the top that you can even change the date. So if you were scheduling for like Friday for the farriers oh, going this Friday, date ahead. yes, I could say, okay, well, tell me on the 15th, which horses are going to be due by then. So oh, it's yes. really nice to be able to plan ahead. I, that, that was a pretty good selection because this one, it's a very good example when you put the technology to work for you. Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, my turn? Yes, your turn. Uh, okay, I would like to go to our recurring module. In Wise Option 5, the recurring module was called the boarding module. Uh, and the boarding, in my opinion, is one of the most complex calculations for the end user, not for the program so much, Mm -hmm. But for the end users, because there are so many different rates, so many arrival dates and checkout dates. And the boarding module in Wise Option 5 was the concept of some sort of a kind of a little hotel. So you have your guests, you check them in, in right. different rates, and the program figured out the calculation for you at the end of each period. Now with the recurring module in Wise Option 6, we went one step further because we even changed the name to recurring because you, you can go beyond the boarding calculation. For example, yes. like in Regimate, you know, mm -hmm. you have a particular patient on the Regimate treatment, but you not necessarily know how many days and you could use for certain treatments, just put, you know, checking under the that particular task file, that particular charge code, and the system is going to charge, you know, for the number of days and to check that out. So would that be the good for even something? That sounds like something that would be also good for, like, uh, like would that be a, something good to use for, like, supplements? Like if you were charging Absolutely. for daily supplements? Or even sales preparation or a particular show, you know, mm -hmm. if you have, uh, you know, the system allows the patient to be checked in in multiple rates as long as it's not the same rate you can have the patient checked in in different rates. So could it be supplements, could be rehab, could be, you know, uh, uh, some sort of uh, uh, training procedures. Yeah. So it's, it's really handy. Now the system has the option to um, allow you for calculating the number of days upon checkout or at the end of 
each end month billing cycle, mm -hmm. or you can have the system making daily charges. Some people would like to have a more detail oriented invoice. So the charges show on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. um, again, it's, it's a list and you can retrieve, you can see the list of your regiments, you can see a list of your supplements, you can see a list of your sales preparation and so on. And another nice thing, thing about this, just to close is the fact that you can check in and check out multiple patients. That's why we have those check boxes on the side because yes. it's easier to do one at a time. And sometimes right. somebody, somebody comes with the trailer, pick up six or 10 horses, so yes. you check them all, you know, at once and the calculation is done for you. Another good example where you put the technology to work for you. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. That's an awesome one. My turn? Yes, please. Okay. So next one I've got is the patient history button. So I really like this as a, I used to load patient there's a button down here to load the previous hospital history, which if you've got a horse that has been in the hospital, you know, the horse is 25 years old and has maybe been in the hospital like eight times over the past 10 years, um, it takes it a while to load all of that patient information, um, but a much quicker way of doing it, and I found a much more complete way of looking at patient history was to use this patient history button here. Um, I really like this because it's a really complete, this wasn't a good example for a horse. I'll go back and look for another one. But it, I really liked it because it's a nice complete way of looking at the horse's record from breeding records to um, hospitalization records to procedures completed. Um, mm -hmm. It's a really nice succinct way of looking at that. I see what you're saying because on one hand, if you wanna dive, for example, just on the mere record, you could do so. But if you want a place where the program brings the information from all the different positions in the entire wise option database, it puts all together in one page in a timeline. And I like the way this is done because on one side, we're gonna have the comments, yep. I'm sorry, charges. And, um, <laughs> and on the other side, you're gonna have the comments, which makes very helpful uh, for doctors to go in, you know, especially progress notes from technicians that are following, so they go, I, I love to see this as one of the silent communication moments that we have in the system mm -hmm. that multiple users can exchange information. Yes, yeah, and I, I really like how user-friendly this all is up here as well. It's very quick with all of these radio buttons and check boxes. If you wanna narrow down what you view, um, it's really easy to do so. And I really like this that you've added here, um, this particular one, the hospitalization list. So obviously I don't have very many horses in, in my database for the hospital, but it's a really great way for veterinarians to go through and just see really quick the patient history of all the horses checked into the hospital currently. Um, you know, so again, you can come here. and this see the patient. This might be a very, so, very good candidate for our mobile app. Oh, that would be, that would be nice. That would be nice. We should put that in the list, yes. Absolutely. I'm gonna write that down. <laughs> all right, what's okay. your last one? Well, my last one, it's about frozen charges. If you go to the uh, billing module, please. We first, we, in, in Wise Option 6, we make sure that we have the button for billing a little bit not so accessible. It's a little bit hidden there. Yes. But in our checklist for, for the, the, the billing module, there is one place which is the frozen storage. Uh, just in a nutshell, because this module is humongous, it's really big. But in a nutshell, pretty much, you maintain your inventory for frozen semen and or vitrified embryos in a manner that you can create the formulas, say, you know, uh, one to 50 straws, we're going to charge $25 per month. 51 straws to 100 straws, we're going to charge $45 a month. And after that, we're going to charge you know, $5 for every extra 10 straws. So this is a very complex type of formula to get to the end, especially when you have so many batches, so many styles. Yeah. Not talking about that sometimes the, the different batches have different ownership, not necessarily the owner of the stallion is the owner of the batch. Right. And wise yeah. option takes all of that in consideration the formulas and everything, all you've got to do is every time you breed a mare, you breed out of the frozen semen. Every time you transfer an embryo, you transfer from the tanks. And Wise Option already knows the quantities at the end of the month. It calculates yeah. the quantity, you know, and creates separate invoice, which makes very easy, you know, reading for the customers to see the separation about what are the reproduction 
procedures from the frozen storage. And people have realized that frozen storage is a, it's a, a stream of revenue because there's liability of maintaining all those tanks. And people, when they see the money that can come from that side of the business, they say, wow, I, I never thought about this. Now, handy calculation with the frozen storage, of course. We could go you know, through the hourly learnings and the videos to learn how to create the formula. That's not the purpose right. of it here. But just to point out, that's something that people should exploit. Yes, definitely. That, that's another great example of, again, the system working for you. All right. So I think we today we nailed yes, a lot of, you know, things that the actually you put the little gimmies in the computer to do, you know, calculations on your side. Yep, definitely. Definitely. Right. Well, it was really great being here with everybody and we hope everyone has a good rest of their week and we will see you back here next week. So be sure to check back. And of course, if you have any questions about anything you saw here today or want to talk some more about it, please don't hesitate to go ahead and come right on Facebook and, and um, log in a support session. See you next time. Bye. Bye.